Macon Water Authority customers may see a change in their water bill this month. You might remember the ransomware attack that happened more than a month ago at the Authority. It caused problems with reading water meters and generating bills. Customers temporarily couldn't use online billing. Two weeks later, the issue was resolved. Now, Water Authority President Tony Rojas says they have almost completely recovered from the malware attack. But some customers may notice that water bills seem unusually high for the month. Inslee Nichols explains why the bills don't seem accurate and what the Water Authority is doing to fix it. Customers line up to pay bills at the Macon Water Authority, but some customers like Donald Lowe question the cost. It looked high because last month, but in October rather, it was like 30 something. In November, it jumped up to about 50. This comes after a ransomware attack in early November. Water Authority President Tony Rojas says phones started ringing off the hook with people questioning their statements. It's understandable. Someone thinks, well, the bill's wrong. You know, they had a malware attack. My bill's just wrong. Well, it's not, it's not wrong. Half of their customers got an estimated bill for late October and early November based on amounts from the same time period last year. Some estimates may have been too high, but others too low. December bills are based on actual meter reads. You're likely to see a lower bill for December because it's got a credit from your estimate being higher than the consumption. Meaning that in the end, no one is paying more than they should. It, it, it absolutely evens out, but the problem is the confusion it creates until you're evened out. Lowe admits she was initially confused. It's coming to pay my water bill. When thinking it, that, made it, that might have made it happen like that. Now she understands her bill was just a side effect of the malware attack. In Macon, Inslee Nichols, 13 WMAZ News. Tony Rojas says during that attack, the hackers never accessed any of their customers' personal data.